This week we are in the third trimester. Welcome to Pregnancy Week 27. Hey everyone, that's right, we are in the one, two, third trimester and I just think it's unbelievable. Whew, starting to get the old freak outs now. Well actually I've been freaking out this whole pregnancy but now it's like you're in the third trimester home stretch you know like not long to go now three months 12 weeks <sighs> it's scary so I am currently recovering from the 24 hour bug it sucked but it's crazy how the 24 hour bug you get it and literally within 24 hours gone like yesterday I put a picture up on Instagram and I was all like cuddled up under my blanket I had the aches, like my body was aching, I was puking, I had diarrhea, I wasn't, I'm not sure if I was running a temperature, I felt like I was really cold but I was hot so I could have been running a little bit of a temperature but I didn't actually go and get a thermometer or anything because I was like I'm fine, it's going to be okay. Um, I felt awful, like no energy, just could not function pretty much and then it got to about nine o'clock last night bam I felt pretty much normal I did actually take some Panadol which took the achiness away when I get dehydrated I get real achy sometimes so achy that I have to go to the hospital and get some like um intravenous fluids um and as soon as I get intravenous intravenous fluids I feel really really good so this time I knew that that's what it was that this achiness was to do with the dehydration that I really need to get some water into me so um just drank a bunch of water um a little bit of lemonade I managed to keep down an ice block um I felt awful and then it just went away and then today I was up I had my breakfast I did all the housework I did I steam mopped the floors and I'd done the dishes, I even made some cookies and it's like it didn't even happen, it's just crazy. So I'm grateful that it was just a 24 hour bug and not something that lasts a few days or a week. While I did have the tummy bug though, something really interesting was going on and that was that Mila didn't stop moving at all. Like I'm not even kidding you, that 24 hours I had the 24 hour bug, she didn't stop moving. She was just rolling and punching and stretching I say it like that because it hurt <laughs> and I just found it incredible because normally only a couple of days before that I was going to ring up my midwife really concerned being like this kid doesn't move like she moves like once a day that I feel that I can feel I can only feel her like once or twice a day that's it I, like I'm like is she just a really inactive baby or is something wrong um, or possibly is my placenta in the way placenta probably not in the way because in those 24 hours I felt everything I felt everything <laughs> um, so yeah it was just crazy so she must have been hearing that googling and all that and just been thinking what the heck is this so she was going nuts and at the start I enjoyed it even though I was feeling miserable but by the end of that 24 hours I was kind of like kid can you go to sleep because I'm really tired <laughs> but yeah and then today she's back to being quiet again I've felt her once today and it is now uh, 20 to 2 in the afternoon and I have felt her once and it wasn't a kick it wasn't a punch it was more like a just a pressure I could just feel her maybe she was just pushing out or something that's it so um, I have a midwife appointment next week because they are now fortnightly which is exciting and I'm just going to talk to my midwife about it because different books say different things but apparently you should be feeling them up to 10 times every hour that seems a little excessive to me I thought it was like 10 times a day some books say 10 times a day but regardless if it was 10 times a day or 10 times an hour I ain't feeling her at all like she just doesn't move um, so I don't know whether it's something to be concerned about or not so I'll have to ask my midwife okay so that was my nana that just called and I was on the phone for like half an hour and I can't quite remember what I was saying um Mila not being a very active baby so 
hopefully it's nothing and it just means that she's a very inactive baby and that when she's out of womb she will also be an inactive baby <laughs> a nice quiet newborn <laughs> we can dream um mind you while I was on the phone with Nana I felt another kick so that makes it two for the day and it is now 2 p.m so two by 2 p.m in the afternoon I I don't know I don't know if it's bad or not but anyway um symptoms this week are just that I'm starting to get more and more uncomfortable my stretch marks are expanding and getting a couple of new ones so obviously she's growing in there oh me. um and the only other symptom for this week is that I've broken out like a teenager which is just so much fun like getting pimples gotta love it so I'm so stoked that a lot of you guys are keen on joining in with me and making a bunting for Mila's room. There's a big space behind the camera that you can't see. Um, it's just a big space where I intend, possibly, I'm putting her name. There's two possible places. Um, and wherever I don't put her name, I'm going to be putting the bunting. Depends on how many I get. If I get lots, I'll be putting the bunting like through the middle of your ceiling so it can hang down it will look really cool um but there's a few of you who are really keen so that's awesome and i'm stoked that you guys are getting in on it if you have no idea what i'm talking about at all um if you go to the link below i'll put the link for you so you don't have to look go in the description box and the link in the description box below there'll be a link to where i explain about how i want to make this bunting for Mila's room and how i'd love for you guys to make one triangle each if you want to make more than one triangle, feel free, go ahead, you can make four, five or six if you like, but um, I'm only expecting like one, you don't have to make lots, and you can make it however you like, but I've just got some dimensions there and some ideas on maybe colour scheme and or theme, um, but go for your life, so I'm really happy that you guys are getting on it, I cannot wait till they start arriving and I can start putting it together, it's going to be so fun. Since this vlog isn't particularly long, today I'm going to be showing you, along with my normal baby buys, I'm going to show you um, some clothes that a YouTube subscriber sent to me, because I keep intending on making a separate video, but I thought since today's vlog I didn't have much to talk about, I would show it in here. So I'm just going to get on to the baby buys for the week. So for me personally, what I brought is, um, <laughs> I can't help but go on to little Melody Grace, um, who sells um, baby, toddler, jewellery and headbands, um, all homemade. Um, I've brought one previously off her and um, my giveaway, which by the way the giveaways are still on, so go to my channel and find those giveaways and enter. Um, so one of her headbands is also my giveaway, so I bought some more for Mila. So I've got a lot of pink, so I really need to get some other colours, pink and white. This one's got black. This is gorgeous. Another one, it's got some bling bling in there too. I can't wait to like match these with you know, little outfit. So these next items that I'm going to show you are from my YouTube subscriber U plus Boo equals Zoo and um, she sent a, um, a little card for Mila. It's very bright in here, I don't know if you can see that very well. But I um, sent a little card with a little note in there for us which is just really gorgeous. Um, I've enjoyed watching your family grow. Used to watch under my old channel for many moons. Um, Mila will add grace and warmth to your happy home. Bring home, hope, laughter to all who enter. Congratulations on baby. Um, and may you both have a safe arrival. May your darling daughter fill your word with all things curly, sweet and pink. Oh, just about. Makes me want to get all teary. <laughs> I just about got teary when I opened the present too because I was expecting one thing. I knew that she was sending me one thing, which was this gorgeous freaking gorgeous jacket so this I was expecting in the mail I knew she was sending me this but the package arrived and it was big and I was like oh okay so I pulled it out and then I pulled out another thing and another thing and another thing and another thing and just I was just overwhelmed I felt like I wanted to cry because I'm just not used to such generosity and I just it was just really special so I just want to thank you so much for your generosity because that's just 
it was unexpected and just really wonderful and everything that you have gifted to us for Mila is just really beautiful so thank you so much um so this is gorgeous so hopefully if I can I, I intend on finding a little shelf that has the three hooks and then it can be like a display thing until she can fit it so I'm thinking what does this say this says six to nine months which will probably be a good time for her to wear it actually I'm just imagining a little pair of tights and oh, can't wait okay so along with that another gorgeous dress Stunning, this beautiful dress. It smells nice too, whatever you've washed these in, it smells amazing. <laughs> so this is gorgeous, I just love this. I just love everything, oh my gosh. Um, this one here as well. So these are all currently hanging up in her wardrobe. <gasps> Aren't these to die for? <laughs> so cute I can't wait to put her in them um I got really excited when I saw this one because all I saw was the frilly bit in the bottom and when I pulled it out and saw it was a dress I was like oh my gosh <laughs> so I saw that look so this gorgeous dress oh so spoiled so 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 spoiled seriously all right so those were the dresses and then See what I mean? It just like it keeps going and going. I've kept um, your return address as well, so we can send you a thank you card. Um, these gorgeous little overalls, which are beautiful. Oh, this is really cute too. I can totally see these with a little pair of tights. Seriously. They smell so good. A pair of tights, little tight things with little footsies on the bottom. How generous is this, you guys? Seriously. A little onesie. Now they've finally shown you guys I can actually put these away in her drawers so they can be used, which is really exciting. Another set of another. I guess we call them stretch and grows. I get confused between stretch and grow and onesie, but I call this a stretch and grow because it's the whole kind of bottom arms and legs rather than just button up under the crotch. That's really cute. I love the design on that one. Some cute little booties. This gorgeous one. Everything is just gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous. I just can't help it. I just say everything is gorgeous. <gasps> this one as well. How stunning is that? Oh my gosh. Seriously, from move it closer so you can so you can see me. Oh. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for those beautiful items. I just I can't thank you enough. And um now that I've finally shown them off on YouTube, I can finally put them in her drawers. The dresses have been hanging out for a little while now in her wardrobe. Um but now we can send you a thank you card and um finally put them away and I can't wait till she's born and she can wear them I thank you so much that was just so generous and um I just don't know what else to say I was a little bit overwhelmed when it arrived I just when I just keep pulling the items out I just felt like I wanted to cry because it just no I don't know warm fuzzies you know it's just I'm excited and I just wasn't expecting such generosity so thank you so much I'm it's really appreciated and um you'll be sure to see her wearing a lot of the stuff so um, I know you're on my Facebook page but just keep an eye out because I'll be putting up millions of photos so you'll be sure to see your stuff worn in some of them <laughs> all right you guys that's pretty much it from me so I'm gonna do the debate the the do the belly shot but as always go to expectnet.com put in Baba Lucky and put in your guesses for birth date yada 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 and um, go to my channel and enter those competitions. I haven't set an end date, so I'll just keep them running for another week or so. Um, and other than that, I don't know if I've got any more Make Room for Mela vlogs coming up because anything else I show you now will show you too much of the room and some people want a surprise. But the one thing I can show you that I made recently, and I put on Instagram, is her mobile. It's a bit blurry. I might just don't know. 
oh my gosh, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even see if that's in focus or not. But that's her mobile anyway for above her cock. And now I'm all blurry. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and um, join me next week for when I am 28 weeks pregnant. Oh my goodness. Um, so, so excited to be in the third trimester. It's really exciting and just really scary. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks. Bye.